Good afternoon or evening or morning, whenever you turn this on. <laughs> it's afternoon here for us. Yeah, it is. It's mid. Yeah, it's mid afternoon. We are three thirty. We are lost in our dream. dream. Sometimes we're really lost. <laughs> and right now we are lost because we're doing talking head video. Yeah, we don't usually do these, and we don't do them very well. Okay, okay. so why are we here today? Uh, because we got to come up with a video. <laughs> and what is this week's video? I've gotten asked by people at gas stations and stuff like that, how do I get involved in this RVing lifestyle? You it go out and buy an RV, and you mean, go RVing. <laughs> it doesn't mean full time, but it means, uh, what are the things you need to do to have a good time, to enjoy this? So we sat there and said, well, we got a couple little things that we could Tips, say. I guess. Tips, yeah. yeah. She's got them on her phone, so now I gotta I look got down because the teleprompter is at my knees. Patience. Patience with your significant other. You have to have lots of patience. You, you really do. Because you're in a very small space. Even though you have a big, huge yard to get out and go do things in, you have a very small space. And it's even smaller when you have three little dogs. It's small when you have three little dogs. I wouldn't, I don't know how you can do it with kids, but you have to have patience. Oh, yeah. You have to be understanding of each other. Yes. You have to understand that there's certain things that you really can't blast out to the neighbors <laughs> unless you don't want to live with that person again <laughs> you have to understand that you're in an environment that everybody can hear things mm -hmm. uh, they, they can hear everything they can hear everybody talk they can hear that they can hear you run to the bathroom mm -hmm. sitting outside the rv <laughs> they probably hear us right now probably do yeah that's why I said rain is a good thing. Nobody can hear. <laughs> Nobody what you're hears doing. a thing. <laughs> what you're doing? You don't need corn and whiskey. You just need the sound of a drum. Oh, and anybody who lives in an RV, they know what I'm talking about. Yes. Be yes. patient with each other. It's true. Patience. Yes. A mm -hmm. lot of patience. You have to be. You have to be understanding that each other needs. You need your space. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what everybody's doing. How things are to work. The whole thing. Yes. Flexibility. Yeah. Don't be stuck on you need to go to this thing or you need no. to go to that resort. Spend, flexible. Be you flexible. Be, you gotta be flexible. If you run a hundred miles short. So what? So what? Make lemonade out of lemons. It's very true. Um, we found one of the neatest little towns on a very windy mm -hmm. day. It was snowing, it was cold. We were traveling crosswind. I had to get this RV turned south. The wind was coming out of the north. Mm -hmm. We came across this little town called Ida Grove, Iowa. We have a video on that. We do have a video. It's one of the way back. If I knew how to put it to there. To link it? We'll try. We'll try. try to link it to where, wherever you link it to. The technology <laughs> hasn't quite If anything, I'll just uh, paste it in the, in the description. But um, <laughs> we found this wonderful little town out of Grove, Iowa. Mm -hmm. Bullet. 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 Point. point. Bullet point. Bullet points. <laughs> I was a machinist. We didn't do bullet points. <laughs> Inspection chart, yes. <laughs> step okay. by step, yes. All right. Ne next item is travel slow and stay at places longer. If you got the time. If you have the time, go, go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Don't get in a hurry. Nope. As I said, be flexible and stay at places longer. We're here for three weeks. Yeah, we've this, got a month reserved, but we're going to skip out early so we can get back up to see grandkids for Easter. Well, um, this is an escapee part, Somerdale, Alabama. Alabama. Mm -hmm. I had to think what state it was in all of a sudden. Yes, we're in Alabama. We're this, in Alabama. Is the, this is the second escapee park that we've stayed at. We stayed at the one in Livingston, Texas. It was very nice. This one's nice. The thing about this park is you can actually wash your rig. Yeah, I mean, he did that yesterday. It's kind of nice to be able to do that. It's something you don't get to do all the time on the road. No. Uh, this gives you time to set up, flush your tanks. They have activities here going on at the campground. 
with the camp uh, with the um whatever the hell that thing is called down there the activity center the activity, clubhouse. clubhouse clubhouse clubhouse, the clubhouse. Yeah. it's ran by the corporation yeah um the it's, people here everybody's everybody's nice guess what they're doing the same thing you're doing mm -hmm. so that's kind of nice yep um the things around this area here you got gulf shores you got Which mobile cool. yeah. you got fairville fair, fair, hope. fair hope fair hope Fair Hope and Colonial Disc Golf Course, Grand Preserve Disc Golf Course, mm -hmm. which I just got done playing today. But there's a lot of activities you can do. Yeah. It's relatively close, but it gives you time to sit down, take care of the stuff you yeah, rig, relax. do a little bit of maintenance. It even says in the brochure if you want to do an oil change, check with the office. It pays to travel slow because you will save on prices. If you do a month stay, it's a lot cheaper than doing a week or daily. Yes. And then you also save on gas. Yeah. It's the only way you, this is one way you can save money on this yeah. lifestyle is slow. Go slow. <laughs> Bullet and, points. Mm -hmm. You can't act like you're on vacation every day. No. If you, act, if you go out and you run around and do things like you are on vacation every day, you will get burnt out so fast. You'll be exhausted. You'll be exhausted. You'll be out of money. <laughs> you weigh a lot. Well, you may not be out of money. Some people can afford to do well, that. Well, some can, but I mean... You, We'd be broke. Yeah, we would be... We, yeah, you can't go out and act like we're on vacation every day. In fact, we eat out less now yeah. than we did in our sticks and bricks. Oh, yeah. We don't eat out that much. But I'm not just talking about eating out as mm -hmm. far as like being on vacation. Being on vacation, yeah. Also well, doing... The side trips and the, you know, the expensive exploring and excursions and stuff like that. We like to find a lot of free thing, free or cheap things to go do. We and do. there is a lot of them out there, too. We do. It's just, you know, we're retired now, so mm -hmm. we, we're on a budget. We don't have to eat out. We're, we're not working all the time, so we get plenty of time to cook. I've been yeah. doing a lot of cooking. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's a fantastic. He's a very good cook. I ruined a few clothes on the Blackstone <laughs> stacks and griddle, wearing an apron. He's a very good cook. I give yes. him credit for that. He cooks almost every day. We are going to splurge, though. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe we'll get it done this week before we leave here. But if not, we'll definitely do it next time we're in the area. As I'm going to go on a dolphin cruise. I want to come back here in November. Uh, the advantage of coming back here in November when you're on the road. I was thinking we go hit the Escapees Park in Florida in November. Well, I was thinking here because we're going to Mississippi, so it's well, a, yeah. a safe little drive. Well, time. we can do the Escapees Park then in Tennessee. But that's cold. No. It's not that cold. That's cold. No. <laughs> we'll figure it out. November's a long way away. But they, what they do is they have a Thanksgiving dinner throughout the whole club. So. Yeah. They have, yeah, you sign up to go to their Thanksgiving dinner. And, and so you get to sit down with Thanksgiving and have dinner with a group with of family. people. Yeah. Yeah, with family. Yeah. Yeah. And they with, become family. Yeah. You get to know people and. These people get to become friends and yeah. family. It's, it's, you're here for an extended period of time. It's a lot of fun. It's enjoyable. Granted, we're probably one of the youngest couples here. Probably. We probably are. Mm-hmm. But. Yes. Next point. It. Learn and know your rig. Yes, understand how Every, this thing works. Very important. In fact, excuse me for a second while I turn the hot water heater back. <laughs> I know you forgot to turn it off when you took your, after your shower. <laughs> it's not that. We have a Truma instant hot water heater and it has Econo. Runs on propane. Runs on propane, runs on Econo, or runs on on. And when it runs on on, it'll keep the hot water as a small, I think it's like only a one gallon or two gallons. I was going to say, tank. not even that. It's like a liter. Yeah, a liter tank at 100 degrees at all times, 103 degrees. And it's no big deal, but if it's on Econo, it just doesn't turn on unless it's below freezing, so it doesn't burn gas. It saves money. Understand your rig. Understand how many amps it takes to run your rig. Get a Get a little meter. We put one in this thing. Uh, it's one of the first videos I did. Mm -hmm. And it's made it a lot easier for us to boondock. It made us a lot easier to park at Walmart. It made us understand how much battery time we have. Um, understand the sounds of your rig, the way it levels, 
how it sounds when it levels right. A lot of different creaks and... Just don't put your rig in a bind and a twist when you level it. You know, don't always pay attention to the little automatic level there. Mm -hmm. Walk around with a level and check your rig. Yep. Because you can have one section perfectly level and then you go to the back half and it's tilted down. And understand your rig, understand how it works, understand how, how your hydraulics, how your leveling system works and when you back it up I'm gonna say we do something different than everybody else does. You know, everybody else goes, they run in the back and you have someone in the back and some of that, and they use a phone or use a walkie talkie. I like to stand next to the driver. He or makes me back it in. I make her back it in, but I like to either stand next to the driver. I thought we were gonna side, use the mics. Or passenger side. And that way, my voice is instantaneously to her and I'm not yelling at her. Because the second I yell at her, She's going to get excited and yell back, and then <laughs> our emotions come up, and it's not a oh, good thing. Oh, that's never happened. And then when she does it, she goes back in the shadows. Yeah, goes, I'm not good at that. And she hides in the shadows, so it's much easier to have her do that. Everybody, if you have pets, you should have a sign in your window. We have a whiteboard in case of emergency, and we have our two cell numbers listed, and then we have on the board that there's three dogs inside. So that not only if something happens, they have our numbers to call, but <clears throat> sometimes, occasionally, our dogs, we have one that likes to bark. So if she's barking too much, they can call us and say, hey, your dog's barking. <laughs> We've never had that happen. She usually doesn't, she doesn't do it for long, but I'm always paranoid that she's going to. But it, 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 it's just a safety Anyway, so the whiteboard with the numbers. Also, when we get to a new place, I always scope out where the nearest vet is, where the nearest urgent care is for us, the hospital. I think that's it. Yeah, you ought to put it on my phone so I know where to go. Ha, 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 ha. I know where the nearest O'Reilly's is. Oh, of course I know you where the nearest yes. hardware store is. Where the nearest is. Lowe's is. Where the yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know where it gets stuff. I have to go work on the RV today. Uh, I got to change yes, you know, latch. And enjoy your travels. Enjoy your trip. Enjoy your trip. And if, good grief, if you're not nervous, excited, or your blood pressure isn't up when you're driving your rig, <laughs> something is wrong with you. Because guess what? You are driving your house down the road. Yes. You should be at a highly elevated excitement. Your attention shouldn't be up there. There's nothing wrong with that. No. That should be normal. I mean, good grief, yo, it is a, a big thing to drive. You should be up and you should be attended. If you're not, then something is wrong with you. If you don't have some sort of anxiety to drive this thing, there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and another tip. And we didn't do this the first year we were on the road. Actually, the first year and a half we were on the road. We thought, oh, we're going to get out and we're going to walk every day. We're going to hike. We're going to bike. We're going to get in such good physical shape. Ha! <laughs> Didn't work that way at first. Schedule your activities. Then now. last summer, we both felt like we were getting a little bit too complacent and not getting that much exercise. So thank you, Chris, with Irene Iron Travels and Irene Iron Fitness and Healthy RV Living. She is a wonderful fitness and nutrition coach, and I love her, we love her, and we feel so much healthier. Schedule, schedule yes. activity time. Yes, every day. Ow, that's my toe you keep kicking. Well, keep your foot out of my way. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. We're sitting in a small <laughs> space right now. In yeah. the comments below, tell us what your tips or your advice is for RVing, whether it's full-time or part-time, what your advice or your tips are for staying fit and healthy in an RV. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what your suggestions are. And love a rainy day. It's a good thing. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. <laughs> oh, I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> now she's smiling and laughing. Mm -hmm. I can put that in the first part of the video. You would never know it. <laughs> everybody take care and we will talk to you again soon mm -hmm. like and subscribe thank you